Hey Collective. Hi guys. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening at the time that you catch this recording. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I am a fellow Scorpio myself, so definitely if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, the reading can resonate with you, okay? But if you are returning, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. All right, so let's jump into this channel message reading. Spirit, angels, and guides, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal for my fellow Scorpios. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, low vibrational energies, or any blockages away from our sacred space. Return the energy back to sender. Tenfold, so more it be. Amen, amen. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into this message. All right, so we have the number 18, which is child. Hmm. Some of you guys may have a child that is 18 years old, possibly nine years old, possibly a little girl. You could have lost a child 18 years ago, nine years ago, nine months ago, even nine weeks ago. But there's something to do with a child here. Something to do with a child. Hmm. You could be reminiscing on your childhood, having a nostalgia moment, six of cups type of energy. Tell me about this child spirit. This little girl likes stuffed animals. Yeah. Tell me about child. Why is child here? All right, so we have mature man. Hmm. Tell me more about child. Now, this can also signify with the child card that someone could still be in their childish energy. Someone haven't really, like, grown up yet. The number 33 here. And 33 is a master number, which is concern. Both of these cards have elderly men here, if you notice. The number 5 and the 33. These are both, uh, looks like almost the same gentleman. Well, no, a little different. One has more of a full face beard. The other one has just kind of like goatee look like. Hmm. So we're talking about a main male here. This masculine, masculine, I can't talk tonight. This masculine could be a Taurus, possibly uh, mm, Gemini. So one could have been born in May. Hmm. But then we have concern. Now, for some of you, this you could be pregnant from this mature man, whoever this main male is. And he may have some concerns or you may have some concerns about this child or how the pregnancy will go. Yeah, look at there. We got mama energy here, mature woman. So this is emperor, empress energy here. But there's a masculine. Huh. All right, so let's tap in. So I am going to separate each one, and I'm going to see more about the child energy, okay? All right, let's get into it. Tell me about this child energy, spirit, angels, and guys. What is it that Scorpio is needed to know? Whoever this mature masculine energy here, this is someone who likes to wear suits, tie, gray hair, gray beard. The color, the color brown is significant. Someone may have an office. Hmm. This could even be someone's grandfather. Hmm. This mature man could be concerned about a child, a granddaughter, or something like that. But let's see. Tell me about this child energy, spirit, angels, and gods for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify a child. What is tell me about child spirit? What is this? Ten of swords in the reverse. Hmm. 
Tell me more about child. Hmm. Someone could be trying to heal their inner childhood wounds. We have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, someone could be invested into healing. Um, some childhood wounds. Three of Cups, Four of Wands, Seven of Cups. There could be a couple here that is possibly expecting a child after they have lost or went through so many different like miscarriages. And they're putting in the time and energy to create a child or a child is on the way. Someone is ready to celebrate with the four of wands here in the three of cups. Someone is celebrating a birth of a child. This could be like a baby shower. Hmm. Tell me about mature man. Hmm. Mm hmm A celebration here. Three of Cups. Someone is seem yeah, seem like someone is celebrating the birth of a child or someone may be pregnant now. This mature man is happy. He's ready to celebrate here. Tell me more. Mature man, when it comes to this child. Why is that here? The family, friends are coming together to celebrate. Either a birth of a child or someone could be finding out that they're pregnant. Alright, so we have the fool. This is a new chapter, a new beginning here. This is a new beginning for this mature man. He's happy. He's ready to celebrate here. Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment, Page of Cups, the Lovers. I feel like there's a divine feminine that's been waiting for this for a long time. But what I'm noticing here is she has this pentacle near her belly if you guys can see that this woman could have been manifesting to have a child it looks like this is about to be a new beginning this is something that it seems as though she may have took some losses before and now the scales are starting to balance where this um this divine feminine could have surrendered to the most high and possibly prayed or manifest for this child page of cups. This is a child energy here. Hmm. What is the concern here? Someone here can be 33 years old, possibly born on the 6th, the 5th, the 9th, 18th. Someone here can be an Aries, this mature man. All right, what we got here? All right, so we have the, yeah, King of Pentacles. We just saw the Queen of Pentacles here. And we have the moon. Mm. Okay, so remember we just saw the queen of pentacles, right? Now we have her divine counterpart, which is the, this mature man. And remember on the Kipper deck here, the mature woman came out right behind um, the main male. So the mature man, mature woman, king to the queen of uh, Quint uh, pentacles, excuse me. So this is a divine couple that may have been trying to have a baby for a long period of time. Hmm. Yeah, this is the masculine here. This masculine is this mature man. The father is like concerned or the husband is concerned, but this is the person who's the main provider of the household. The main provider here. There's some concerns, but he's in his feelings about something. He's worried. Wait a minute. There's some heartbreak going on. And then we have communication with the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands.
this family man, this masculine, is worried about something. He is depressed about something. He's heartbroken. For some reason, I'm getting this... Oh, shit. This Knight of Cups is this main male. Because, see, the mature woman and mature man, those are older energies. Older woman, older man energy. This main male, this is a younger looking guy. And I think this is the person who's this Knight of Cups. I hope somebody ain't cheating. I hope not. I hope not. I... That's why I was like, what? We got a whole nother energy that's showing up. Knight of Cups. So, and then we got two of wands. Seven of wands. Two. Yeah. I kind of felt that, guys. I did. Like, wait a minute. Who? Why is this father figure worried and heartbroken? Three of Swords. We got 33 here, and 33 is here twice. Child, I hope this man is this man is not concerned of who the father is. <laughs> I hope not, y'all. All right, so okay, let's let's get down to it. What is the um ten of swords in the reverse? What is the ten of swords in reverse when it comes to this child? I hope this ain't what I think it is. What is the Ten of Swords in the reverse spirit when it comes to child? Five of Cups. Sadness, guilt, remorse, and regret. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Someone has been waiting for this for a long period of time. Three of Swords, the Tower. Child, the Three of Swords and the Tower is here. Some, some type of shocking news is coming up. Then we got the Page of Wands. Yeah, some type of... You know what? I hope this ain't what I think it is. This Three of Swords is showing up again. And then we have 33 here. So the, the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups is here. Something to do with the third party. Some type of shocking news is going to come to someone or some type of surprise is about to happen. Or someone is going to hear about it. Child, I know this. <laughs> it's to, something to do with a child. What is this? King of Swords. There go another three again. Three, three, three. Child. like someone has been waiting on a phone call some news and whatever this news is it's going to be shocking but see the page of wands is good news so if it is good news and not bad news whatever it is it's going to break the heart of someone it's something to do with this child let me get okay tell me more about the ten of swords in reverse there's some get remorse it's sad energy going on Five of Wands, arguing, tension, conflict. Give me one more. <sighs> Queen of Cups. Something to do with the female. Emotions going on. You know what, guys? I feel like someone is... I hate to say this. I do. I hate to say this, but I got a feeling... Someone is... Someone lost a child here. That's the heartbreaking news. The Three of Swords. 
I feel like someone lost a child or this has already happened. There's a lot of sadness, get remorse and regret here. We got a lot of angel numbers here. 55, 333. Scorpio, your energy is here. Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aries. Someone could have been pregnant, got into an argument or a fight, and possibly lost a child. And they're very, very emotional right now. Very, very emotional. This changed a lot. A lot of their relationship. Someone lost a child here. If this is you, I am so sorry that you experienced this. That's the tower. That's the shocking news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What's the three of cups when it comes to mature man? Yeah, I feel like there's a masculine, a father figure that was so happy to have this child. But there was some heartbreaking news that came through. Shocking. It caused an upheaval, arguments, tension in the family. Three of one. Another three here, y'all. You know what? It's three, three, three here. Constantly. So keep in mind, 333 talks about your prayers being answers, finding balance, harmony, and finances. So yeah, this mature man was ready to celebrate the birth of their child. This is something they've been waiting on. They couldn't wait. Yeah, that was going to be their baby, Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love, a new feeling, new baby. A blessing from the most high, but yeah. Mm -hmm. This masculine here, this mature man is worried. That either they did not give enough, they didn't support enough, or... Yeah, and I feel like this person has isolated themselves ever since this chapter of this pregnancy, or whatever this was with this child closed out. Yeah. What is the fool card? Yeah, this 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 masculine couldn't wait to celebrate the birth of their child. They were happy. Friends, family was coming to celebrate. Hangman, Pisces energy. This person stuck in limbo, I just heard. They don't know what to do. This was going to be a new beginning, a new chapter. But now this mature man feels stuck. At this point, this person is going to have to surrender. What has happened? Page of Swords, yeah. They were looking forward to this. Yep. They were looking forward to the celebration. Yep. Look, I told you. Look at there. We got the Empress right behind with the Four of um, Wands. Yeah. Someone was pregnant. The Empress is a mama. Pregnancy, uh, you know, pregnant woman here. And then right behind that was the King of Swords. So something ended. Something cut out or some type of honesty and truth came to this Empress. Or someone found out the truth. Oh, Lord. Not the lovers. The lovers. The Knight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Swords. Hold on. Somebody here cheating, guys. Someone here is cheating. Uh -uh. Oh, boy. That Knight of Wands. That's the one who out here doing what they want to do. Someone cheated on a relationship here. The Ten of Pentacles. And the night. You know what? Yeah. Oh, my God. And that changed the whole dynamic of the situation. Someone took action towards another lover. The Lover's Card, the Knight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I keep seeing that Knight of Cups, too. Now we got the Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Like, who is this other person? I'm telling you, I feel like this is someone else here. Someone else is involved. Like, someone else possibly could be the father or something. Oh, Lord Jesus. This mature man, he was so excited. So excited for this baby. The Ace of Cups, that's, you know, new beginning in love. That's a new baby. A blessing from the Most High. It's a miracle. He was looking forward to it. 
This is a new chapter, a new beginning. But it's something to do with online, with that Page of Swords. Child, what's this? What's the King of Pentacles? Too many. Someone was doing some type of research online or looking up something online that had them in like a limbo. What's the King of Pentacles when it comes to concern? Too many spirits, too many. Um, that page of swords keeps sticking out to me. I'm going to go back and clarify that, guys. Someone could have found out online that someone was out here being free. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Um, I told you, Eight of Swords. This father, that mature man, this person is all up in their head. They don't know what to think. They don't know what to do. They feel stuck and stagnant here. Someone feels rich. What? Tell me more. King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some concerns going on with this mature man. It's almost like he's questioning, am I the father? At this point, he's ready to just leave or start a new beginning for himself and surrender. But investigate. That's what I heard. Page of Swords. Whoever this mature man, who is this King of Pentacles, they're investigating some shit here. Yep, we got this Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, someone is cheated or this Empress cheated. Wife, husband, whoever this was, they cheated. They cheated. Yeah. Someone cheated here. And it was so heartbreaking. Child, there's some drama. There's some drama here, baby. Yeah, this Nine of Cups, that's that main male. Yep, third party. Someone was keeping it a secret or keeping it to them chest. Something about a third party here. Yeah, that's why I feel like this masculine has some concern. This mature man has some concerns. Oh, child. Sorry, y'all. My hair all over the place. That's why I'm trying to move it out my face because... <laughs> Yeah, so this Knight of Cups, this is somebody else here. Give me one more for the King of Pentacles. So the other man or other woman involved here is a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yep, marriage. That's why I figure, like, someone cheated on a spouse in a marriage or something like that, or child. Lord, have mercy. Yep. Someone intervened into a relationship or a marriage here. And this is what this King of Pentacles is all up in his head about. Like, they don't know what to do because there's someone else that somehow inter intervened with his marriage. That's what he's concerned about. That's what he's concerned about here. He don't know if he should have a new beginning with his partner or not. Or whether he should end things. Because he's definitely in his feelings. This master could have been doing some drinking. Not knowing what to do. Knowing that this cycle has wrapped up. But somehow he wants to work on things. Child, there's a lot going on here. Child, what is the moon? There's a lot of people showing up here. I know that. You got family and friends over there. But I'm really seeing more of this masculine energy. So, Scorpio, if this has anything to do with you, I don't know if this happened to you already or someone in your energy. I don't know. But we got the Ace of Wands here when it clarifies the moon. Someone is in their feelings about starting over, having a new beginning. And it's this masculine. He's concerned. He don't know what to do. He feels trapped. He feels stuck in his mind. Yeah. The devil. Child. Someone is hiding the fact that they have some type of addiction, attraction to a low vibrational energy. Yeah, and someone is trying to juggle, what should I say? What should I do? This massacre don't know what to do. All he knows is that someone needs to tell the truth. And that person is this queen of pentacles here. His other counterpart. 
So, hold on, y'all. See, the thing is, this masculine, which is the mature man, right? He's married to this woman. Whoever this is in the divine feminine energy, right? That king of pentacles, this is a marriage here. Okay? They were going to welcome in a child. Good news. They were happy. They invested into it. This is what they wanted. But somehow with this king of swords, the two of pentacles, and the devil, someone invested into another situation. I don't know if this was just a sex-based situation or someone was hiding the fact that they were sleeping around with somebody else. They need to tell the truth about that. <laughs> Child, the nine of pentacles and the uh, queen of swords in reverse. So someone is wanting to cut the other person off. Someone here was a little clingy, a little needy here. Child, what is this? Yeah, that mean... Tell me more. Tell me more, spirit. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Someone possibly had a... Someone was hiding the fact that they had a sex addiction. And they possibly got with a younger man or a younger woman. What's the moon? Or this masculine could be hiding it nine of wands. Someone is afraid. They're scared to open up. They're scared to really be vulnerable and tell the truth about what's really going on. Tell me more about this spirit. What is this? The two of wands. Now someone is trying to figure out, damn, you know, this was a risk that I took. Or how do I tell my partner this? It could be the uh, masculine here because I do see the same person. Yeah, this masculine is because, yeah. There's someone got attention from someone else during a marriage here. The Six of Wands and the Higher Funds here. And now whoever this masculine is, this father figure is realizing that someone cheated with a third party. A younger person too. Could be a fire sign here. Now he's trying to decide should he go ahead and file for divorce, put the law involved, you know, things like that. Oh my God. What's this page of swords? It is bothering me, spirit. What is this page of swords? <laughs> Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, Scorpio? Six of, pen six of pentacles here. Give me one more page of swords. Some type of investigation is going on or somebody is doing something on the internet here. Five of swords. Okay, so this mature man could have found out that his partner was giving their time and energy to someone else. This may have caused a lot of arguments, a lot of disputes between the family. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look at all these people. Oh, no, man. There's a lot of people involved. I see the King of Swords, the King of Wands, a Knight of Wands again. <laughs> Somebody could have messed with or slept with different men or different women here. Because I seen that Seven of Cups earlier, so... Child, this is Maury all over again. This is Maury. Some type of research online. Someone did some digging. <laughs> and whatever they found it like, so you mean to tell me I've been giving all my love and my energy to this person and they are here playing games with me? I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I'm done. Uh uh. The number 33 is significant. 333 is here. 55. Five. What else is here? Mm, yep, yeah, that's about it with the um, ancient numbers. So, this King of Pentacles, this is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay? He is very concerned about possibly him being the father or that his partner has cheated, right? He's concerned that he realizes that his partner is hiding the fact that they're having like sexual relations. It's like an addiction. And their partner cheated on them with the Knight of Cups energy, Knight of Wands, or Knight of Pentacles. Someone who really don't have shit. It's a little boy, a little girl. Okay? 
with this child, someone could be questioning whether they are the actual father. It's some drama. But I feel like the child, I don't know why I'm getting like someone could have lost his child. This man has been waiting. He done told his friends, his co-workers, everybody in the, in the damn neighborhood. We're having a baby. Ready for this new beginning. Ready for her to give all his love and a, attention to this new child. But somehow he's stuck in limo. And he's doing some investigation. Because, yeah, I'm feeling like someone lost his child. They got, got news of a miscarriage or something like that. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. Sure, let me get out of this. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below. If this is your story, please don't make this fit. It's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next reading. Bye-bye.